Yo. We did Lecrae and Andy Minio last time. Now we just got Andy. Let's see what the boys got. Never heard this track. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano, The Third. Y'all guys, The Third Family. If you're new to the channel and this is your first video, consider subscribing at the end if you like what you see. And if you're not new to the channel, big ups on you for being a family member. I really appreciate it. Like I said in the cold intro, we got Andy Minio on deck. I was saying his name wrong on the last video and a prior video before that. But y'all guys try to correct me with y'all's phonetic spelling and all y'all were spelling it phonetically incorrect and it just confused me even more. I finally got someone to tell me how to spell it correctly and the phonetic spelling that y'all should have been giving me the entire time was mini, M-I-N-I, dash o o h mini o some of y'all out there were saying i was saying it wrong but then spelling it phonetically exactly how i was saying it i was like bruh this shit is not helping but we finally got it right and we're finally doing a track by him you can't stop me I just got into Andy last year when he dropped The Arrow and The Sword, both 2018 EP projects, but apparently the boy's been doing his thing for quite some time. And this song I'm actually doing because of a Patreon request. Josh, he's been trying to get into the Patreon request tier, and this was one of the songs that he requested, and this is one that I've been hyped to do, I just never got around to do it. But now that he's requested it, here we are. So Josh, I appreciate you, bro. But without further ado, let's go in and get on into this track because y'all guys hyped it, so I'm hyped for it. But there's only one way to find out whether it stands up. Lego. The beat came in like that? Oh shit, okay, hold up, hold up, was it ready? I don't know why I wasn't ready for that. The name of the song is You Can't Stop Me, that's pretty aggressive. But Lego, again. Can't stop, won't stop. Where the bricks at? I give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> I'ma put in work. I'ma do that. Hey. His face. He's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'ma give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that. That's funny. And her face when she did it, like, ah, ah. Hold on, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Fun times over here. I give him that ditty bop. Like, take that, take that, take that, take that. I'ma put in work. <laughs> I'ma do that ASAP, throw my faith in rap, but they say don't say that, huh? What I'ma turn down for? He said, I throw my faith in rap, but they say don't say that. Psh, son, don't say that because that's gonna alienate. He don't give a damn. I like the little editing, I like the movement, I like the foreground usage, I like the RGB splits. It's all fire. Throw my faith in rap, but they say don't say that, huh? What I'ma turn down for? I feel like Shaq and Nafo, breaking glass in that black ah. bottle like Kobe and Toronto, huh? Hey, 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 what's going on? I don't know how long this video is going to be because there's a lot going on lyrically and a lot going on in the video. Was that a dinosaur head on top of somebody in the background? Breaking glass in that back boat, I like Kobe and Toronto. You know what probably happened is they probably didn't get the clearance from that guy to be in the video. So they did that. But he said, I'm feeling like Shaq in 9 4. Feel like Shaq in 9 4. Breaking glass in that back boat, I like Kobe and Toronto, huh? Dropping 81. Yo, I dropped the 88. Ricky Bobby, shake and bake. Sleeping on it, should have stayed awake, huh? Ah. Everybody make mistakes like VJs. Try to say my name, it's Minio. Stay with me, Minio. Okay, great. Two folks out. That was basically what everybody was telling me because I was saying the shit wrong the whole time. I think I was saying Mineo, and I'm sure that's what everybody says. To be honest, I'm surprised that he didn't use a stage name because of the fact that it's hard to say. A lot of people do that. If they have a hard last name to say, they'll use the stage name so that way it's easier to remember. But stay true to who he was. That's fire. The video's got crazy editing though. Like right here, the way that like they cut off this part right here, they mask it out. It looks like he's just walking past it. But really, we're in a whole different scene right here. He said, Ricky Bobby, Shake and Bake, they was sleeping on me, should have stayed awake. Ooh. Ricky Bobby, the movie, Talladega Nights, Shake and Bake, was him and his teammate. Stay with me, Minio. Okay, great. Two forks high, raise the stakes. Risk it all, I take the hate. This the winning team, get the Gatorade. My guy good, but he's not safe, nah. He said, two forks up, I need to raise the stakes. Ooh, that's a bar. I like that. I just like the fun we're having in this music video, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not taking itself too seriously, but you know damn well he's being serious. He's being serious like satellite radio. But really, the production of the video is fire. Like, there's just the transitional cuts. Like, the fact we went from one side of the gate to the other side of the gate. Because he can't be stopped. The gate's not even there in his eyes. Right here, look. Sleeping on it, should have stayed awake, huh? See how we're on the other side of the fence all of a sudden? We didn't ever go through it. Just the transitional cut in the video makes it look like we're now past. 
That's dope. And then the stakes on the forks, and then when we pan and swipe past that pole, they just basically mash that pole out perfectly, and then they got a whole nother scene behind it. It's fire, look, right here. Stakes, risk it all, I take the hate. It's the winning See? team, get the That's game fire. break. My guy good, but he's not safe, now. They try to shut us down, and it ain't gonna slide. Only thing I fear is God, and he on my side. The beat build up. That's the confidence of God, cause he got me. That's why I really feel like you. <laughs> That's all you got. Bro, the editing is sick. You can't stop me. You don't got the power. Bro, the editing of the video is like stupid sick. We got these little shadow dudes that are like following him, like his demons following him. Got these explosions happening in the background. Bro, the video is out of control. Like I couldn't even, I could spend probably like 20 minutes just on the video breaking it down. It's all over the place. It's dope. There's so much going on in the video. It's almost like I have to choose one or the other. <laughs> Shit. For everybody that says that I got a script when I look down, that's not the case. I look down to make sure that I'm still recording on the screen record because I almost wasted another 15 minutes of my life because the screen recorder stopped working and if I would have been looking down, I wouldn't have known. But we back and running, so let's keep this whole shit moving right along, famo. There's very few rappers that could pull a video like this off where it's just like having a bunch of fun. There's all these like dinosaurs and toys and all this bullshit happening in the background. It's just fun and a lot of rappers don't know how to have fun on the mic. Bro, I'm telling you, these ghost little guys, they gotta be like doubt and fear. They gotta be like representative of that because he's talking to them like, we know each other well. And you're only there for me when you ever need to kick me. You're only there for me to provide more doubt in my head that this is something that I can't do. You're my biggest opponent and we both know it. You ain't there for me through the highs. You ain't there for me whenever shit's actually popping off. That's doubt and fear, fam, I'm telling you. Cause you only doubt yourself whenever shit's not popping off the way you want it to. And you get to yourself, you're your worst critic. You're your worst enemy sometimes. Huh, don't cease to amaze me and it drive me crazy. Huh? Did you catch every detail that I missed in the songs I'm making? You will never write a verse like Kendrick Never be the rap or rock guy from Hendrix Times mm. in the live, you will never be mentioned Why aim so high, won't survive the trenches mm. Plus, you a Christian, Andy They will never listen, Andy mm. Plus, we a pigment, Andy You don't got skill, you a gimmick, Andy Well, if I listen to you And everything you put in my ear I'll be living like, what up, shut up, cut up I'll be paralyzed by fear Bruh, he said if I would have listened to you, I would have been in that woulda, shoulda, coulda life. I would have been a has-been paralyzed by fear. Paralysis of analysis. I'm telling you, these little ghost glitch things are like fear, because it only makes sense. But he has some bars in there, you know what I'm saying? He said the fear telling him you're never going to rap like Kendrick. You're never going to be top 10. You're only a gimmick. No one's going to listen because you want to put God in your lyrics, and that's going to alienate people. And on top of that, where's your pigment, fam? You're just some Italian. Italians don't know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? And it's dope the way they shot the music video to show that he's being like surrounded by all these negative thoughts, literally. Because these ghost little guys are like popping up out of nowhere and like taunting him. That's fire. Like look right here. You will never write a verse like Kendrick, never be the See? rapper like, rock like, oh, get away from me. You will never be mentioned why ain't so high once about the trenches. Plus you a Christian Andy. And then the cuts and the editing of the whole video, like the cuts back and forth, the video only lasts like not even half a second before the next cut comes in. Your brain watching the video is like, bruh, like what the fuck's going on? And that's like perfect editing for the metaphor of like he's like, what the fuck is going on? in his own head. Your brain is just as confused and taken back and trying to figure out what's happening as his is because of the music video. And that's dope editing. I be living like what up, shut up, could up. I be paralyzed by fear. Huh? Ain't that the truth? If I quit, the only way I lose, I got two choices when I do this. Make moves or make excuses. Ah. Huh? If you know who I'm talking about, then you got me. My biggest enemy is me. And even I can't stop me. Try to shut it. My biggest enemy is me. And even I can't stop me. Boy, that's a bar. And the boy done said, I only got two moves when I do this shit. I either make moves or I make excuses. And who else has a line like that that I've already referenced? That boy NF. Got a whole song called No Excuses. The fuck? 
And he said, if I quit, the only way I'm going to lose. You got to have that mentality, fam. You got to have that flight or fight response. The flight response is going to be the one that's like got all the inner critics and all the inner demons and even all the external critics saying like, you know what? They're right. Maybe we should quit. Maybe we should give up. The statistics are stacked against us. That's the flight response. But the fight response, that's the one that's going to be like, you know what? To hell with all these critics. Fuck these doubts. We're going to go out and do the damn thing. And I got the self-confidence to push past all that shit. I got the self-confidence to break through all of those barriers. The only one that's gonna stop me is me. And even I can't stop me. Bars. Biggest enemy is me. And even I can't stop me. They try to shut us down and it ain't gonna slide. Only thing I'm very is God and he on my side. That's the confidence of God cause he got me. That's why I really feel like you can't stop me. Ooh. Bro, the editing right there, like the camera work is simple. We're just spinning around a parallax effect. But the editing is what makes it fire. What the hell is this thing right here? But I didn't hear the bar and the hook because I was so focused on the video part the last time. But he said, I got the confidence of God. And that's why you can't stop me. Ooh, because he got God on his side. That's a dope ass line. But yo, all the glitches and all the shit that's happening as we're spinning around him, like I don't even have words for it. Like this whole part right here, this whole like five, 10 seconds of video probably took mad long to edit. Every single frame, 24 frames a second. Imagine that. Imagine doing what you gotta do to one frame of video and then boop, move on to the next frame, doing what you gotta do again. And that's two frames and we got 24 frames to fill one second. That's why I really feel like you can't stop me. Oh. Come on with it. Hey. That's all you got. Yo, that was dope. <laughs> was that Charlemagne? Nah, it wasn't Charlemagne, right? It couldn't have been. He wouldn't have got the clearance for that. Anyway. Come on with it. With it. Uh, Looks like him. That's all you got. You can't stop me. You don't got the power. Can't shut me down. That's not an option. I'm my biggest problem. You don't got the power. Can't shut me down. <laughs> Bro, video so sick. Like I, I didn't have words. I'm not even looking at Andy the whole time. I'm like my my eyes are just like scanning around the frame to see all the other bullshit that's going on. You know it's a dope ass video when I'm not even paying attention to the artist. If I cannot stop me, then you'll never stop me. Oh no, can't stop. Oh no, won't stop. I said if I can't stop me, then you'll never stop me. Ah, I get that combo. Oh no, won't stop. Who did that in Mortal Kombat? I forgot who did that like It's not Raiden. It might be Raiden. It might be Raiden. If you know who did it, let me know in the comments. That bicycle kick. I think that's what it was called to be honest. I tried to do that mad times as a kid when I was play fighting with my cousins. dubstep vibe right there <laughs> son i was not ready for that oh man but you see him hit that scorpion get over here mortal kombat was bad ah and then that melting away bro that it's that effect right there where like the whole screen stops and like pixelates that shit is mad hard it's mad hard on your computer too Ah. Oh, we're going in reverse. Damn, we went in reverse that whole time. But dude, oh, that was tight. That was fire. I'm kind of sweating a little bit, to be honest, because they're like how hyped I am. That song's a download for sure, 100%. But yo, Josh, I appreciate the request, homie, because I don't know how long that video would have taken to get to, because I definitely wanted to react to it, but I had other shit in the pipeline. But you came along and you threw that request out, and that video came through hard. The lyrics, the bars, the video editing, the production, fire. This might be one of my favorite reactions that I've ever done right now. 
because damn. But yo, if you're still here and you're still watching this video, I appreciate your time. I appreciate everybody that's gotten this far. If you like what you see, which chances are you have because you made it this far, we're probably at like 12 minutes into the video, 13 maybe at this point. Feel free to like the video. That helps get the video out and recommend it to other people. Feel free to comment something about the video. That also gets the algorithm catching the video. And subscribe, famo. This is what we do on this channel. We break down the videos. We break down the bars. All the other people on Patreon who have requests that I haven't gotten to, promise I'm gonna get to them. And all the other people on Patreon who aren't at the tier that gets the request, but you're still supporting the boy monetarily so I can pay the bills and keep these videos coming for y'all guys. That shit means the world to me because I know you don't have to do that. And everybody else who's not Patreon, that's fine as well, fam. Not everybody's in a position to be able to support the boy monetarily. So y'all just being here watching the video, y'all just leaving y'all's comments, y'all subscribing, all that helps the channel grow. I always say it, but YouTube and the reaction genre and the reaction side of YouTube is highly saturated. Everybody does it. And I know you have a plethora of options out there whenever you wanna get your fix when it comes to reacting to your favorite artists. So I appreciate the 14 and 15 minutes that y'all guys give me to give you my perspective and what's going on in my mind and hopefully I'll entertain y'all in some way. But that brings us to the end of this video guys. Like I always say, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.